What is up, my lovies? So, yes, this is the cool new dancing that's been added to the game. Three new dances have been added. Thought I'd give you guys a little peek, but let's get right in to find out what else is in the test realm. What is up, my lovies? It is your girl, Heather, here, and oh my god, I'm so excited. It is test realm hype. 2017 summer updates are here and there's so much to tell you guys i don't even know where to begin or where to start but we started live streaming at like i don't know six or seven and live streamed most of the evening just bring you guys the test realm obviously you guys can see my pet so you know uh level 118 new pets are here for all schools i have a video showing you guys every single pet and some of the hybrids from these pets super amazing so you get your new uh the quest for your 118 pets at your teacher in the arcanum so go get your pets guys because they're super amazing i'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek at the first gen talents on this pet I actually made a video on the first 10 talents of this, but I'm going to give you guys a first peek. <laughs> so basically, um, what it comes with is three cards. All of the new pets come with their card of their school and two other cards. Mine comes with Supercharge and Darkwind. And as you can see, those are the talents for uh, first generation on this pet. So let's move on with some of the other things in the update. There's so much to talk about. So there are three new skeleton key bosses. Um, totally hyped because they drop amazing new things. So the first one is in Krakatopia in the Hall of Doors. And the boss's name is Sapati. I don't know. Sapati. Anyway, Sapare is the um, wood key boss. Uh, it wasn't really hard, very low health, but like I said, I did, a, I did these bosses with friends and we recorded every one of the new key bosses so that you guys can see the cheats and see what they drop. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of a few items. So the next boss is in Zafaria at the waterfront he's a stone key boss and his name is captain hawkins and let me tell you he cheats big big cheater make sure you guys he's got high resist um so either bring like infallible or shrike whatever you need to because he does have really high resist so he's a cheater and he drops something that is pretty amazing. So I'm going to give you guys a little peek of what we got today. We got a Pirate 101 two-person boat mount. Has the little black flag with, with the skeleton on it and everything. It was awesome, awesome, amazing boat, two-person boat mount. Um, we got it on the first try doing that boss. So that's pretty amazing. So you guys should um, get busy on these key bosses. They're, it's quite interesting what they're dropping. So the last key boss is the gold key boss and he's an Agrabah in, in Mirage. And he's called the Verbotten Mimic. And he's pretty interesting. He drops a pet now, a pet. He drops a gold chest pet. It's a myth pet. It's pretty awesome. And I'm sure he drops a lot of other things. That's the only thing that we found so far. But um, I think there's a mount in each one of these. We're just going to have to find out. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned because after I post this video, I will be posting those videos and my pet to Mega on the, uh, on the pets, all the pets and the new pets. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned and watch. So let's talk about some other stuff. So there's new castle magic. Um, there is Aquila fishing and new fish. Monstrology, which you guys can say. I'm standing right here next to the monstrologist. 
and the little uh, thing here that gives you instruction on it. This will always give you instruction on um, what Monstrology is and all of that. And she is where uh, you get the quest. So what I'm going to do right now is open my book. And I'm going to give you guys a little sneak idea of it. So right... Magic? Castle magic spells? Oh, it... Where's my Monstrology? So... The first thing you get is, through the quest, you get this new Extract Undead, Extract and Undead Animus. So when you put this on top of your spell, and you hit, let's say, the Lost Souls or any other type of bosses that you can collect Animus on, and you kill them, you will collect their Animus through that. So let me go ahead and if you look right here, this says Monstrology Tomb. So it brings you to this page. As you can see, I did fight the Lost Souls. I killed them. I collected some Animus. So the first uh, thing right here displays the gold and Animus needed to create a summon monster treasure card. So you can summon uh, whichever monster. Right here shows the Animus. This shows the gold. You can see Animus acquired. So this next one is... It displays the gold and animus needed to create a house guest, which is someone that will uh, walk around your house. Be pretty cool. Some of the bosses uh, that they have in the higher worlds, it'd be really interesting to see them in your house. So this last one displays the gold and animus needed to create an expel monster treasure card. So um, these show you what you need and like right here boom, boom boom i can create a house guest so i have 19 out of the 15 animus need needed so this one i think i just need the the gold but why do i have that much gold i don't get it i i i don't know i don't know guys anyway this is all really interesting to me and how this all works and everything needed here. Um, uh, this was kind of funny. Uh, desperate collection of, re of restless spirits adrift for who knows how long. Alas, if only they hadn't died before GPS was invented. I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, um, so that's that new animus situation. And obviously, this is where you come to start your quest. So, let's get on to some other stuff. New castle magic. New jewel. What? What is that? New what? Uh, oh, we've got to go to my house for this one. So, one of the things is this. Pretty awesome. The new Marley Bone car is now dyeable, guys. And yes, I dyed it purple because I love the color purple. So let's go to my house so I can show you this next thing coming up. Before I tell you, show you these next two things that are coming up, I wanna tell you guys that there is a, a new uh, astral spell and three new spells for schools. Um, Myth got one, oh, I show it in one of the videos. Um, you guys are just going to have to stay tuned to watch those. Also, so there was a glitch in the game where um, if you were having a PvP match at your house, the match could start and then people could still join afterwards. Well, they have fixed that. Um, you will no longer join matches. You can no longer join matches in progress. So that has been fixed. Um... I don't know if I want to say this. Let's let's just go to this stuff right here. So these are two new items in the crown shop. There are three new items in the crown shop. So there's a monster dome, triple animus elixir, and what is this? What is this? A jewel vault? What? Yes, we do have a new jewel vault in the game. This is what it looks like. Obviously, it's a jewel. Now, it's a little hard to click on right now, but they'll fix that. And a jewel vault works like every other vault we have. 
Um, it sh lists the items in your backpack. And then these would be the jewels in your jewel vault. I don't have any yet. And just to, to put an item in your vault, you click on the item and you just click the plus. Now that item has been moved to your jewel vault, you can go to your jewel vault and see it there. If you want to move it back, you do the same thing. So that's the new amazing jewel vault. I mean, come on, man, that's just so cool. So this next thing is the Monster Dome. Hello. This is where we can uh, get the bosses that we want to fight over and over again. We could place it in our house. Friends can go in there. We're just going to go on in. And um, obviously, I don't have any of the bosses or anything yet. I just did the quest and I have some animus, but I haven't created anything. Oh, it just joined me. So this is the Monster Dome. You can fight these over and over again, whatever bosses or whatever you get in there. So I'm going to show you how I collected animus. The way to collect animus is to take the card that you get from your quest, put it on top of your hit card. Then you will use your hit card to, to kill them with, thus collecting animus. Okay, so I don't know if it works in here, but that's what you do when you're out in Wizard City or wherever um, fighting bosses that you want to uh, collect and collect their sort of essence so that you can uh, make different things. Let's just, I'm going to see if killing them will actually uh, give that to me. But for last but not least the biggest thing i don't know if this is the biggest but to a lot of people this is so they have changed the critical system people it's just changed critical has been increased so the way critical started out was um critical started out at a hundred percent so basically if you did two thousand damage um, and you're critical, you would do 4,000. Well, then they turned it down to only being 25% on one of our last updates. So we only got 25% of our damage done. They have increased a uh, critical system by 5%, so now it is 35%. And um, it's actually, I can see a difference. So while I was doing those dungeons today and everything, there was a huge difference in what it did. So I want to let you guys know that. But this is the inside of the Monster Dome. Now, you guys, for this last update, you guys just got to see it. Like, explaining it isn't going to do you justice, so I'm just going to go right into it. And it's three new dance emotes, and they're crazy. So I'm going to just show you to them with a little music on it. And, uh, yeah, this is Heather out. Stay tuned for all the uh, videos I'm fixing to post. Everything in this test room will be posted for you guys. So come back to the channel and keep checking, guys. Make sure you turn notifications on so when there's something new comes out, I can hurry up and bring it to you guys. So uh, have fun looking at these new dance moves that were added to the game. Let me show you where they're at real quick. So if you go into emotes and you look, oh, emotes, member emotes. Wow, guys. So if you go down to emotes, member emotes, you have Breakin', the Brooklyn, and Poppin'. You can only imagine breakdancing, Poppin', and the Brooklyn. So here they are, guys. Enjoy. My killers will not take no for an answer. 